Well, on season six, I wasn't trans identifying. I was okay. identifying as a boy drag queen. So there was no issues there. Um, but then I was called back to All Stars as a trans woman. So I was very clear actually in my contract. I said, I'm trans identifying now. I don't want to be referred to anything outside of she, her, and Gia. I don't want um, any flashbacks played. I don't want to be reminded of this person. And of course they did not abide by my word or my wishes um, because the first episode they showed me as a boy and just all these things that I asked not to have happened. Um, so I was a little bit discouraged, actually a lot discouraged and very turned off by the show and actually kind of hurt and actually even a little bit traumatized. I mean, who isn't nowadays? I think if you talk to any contestant, we all go through some sort of postpartum something. Um, it's just kind of, I guess, the reality of being on reality TV. But um, yeah, no, I was brought back as a, as, as a woman and there were no issues. Um, everybody was actually very welcoming to me, um, except one person. I'm sure we all can I, I, I know who that one person is, but um, yeah, it, it was okay. You know, it was okay. I was just going to say, like, they showed plenty of flashbacks as far as I could remember, so. Absolutely. And you know what? I, I, I think it's just one of those things that you have to bite the bullet. I could go back and try to sue and get lawyers involved in all of this, honestly, bullshit but why would I want to go through that and and one thing I realized is you know I I will never be able to or want to really take someone like RuPaul down or come for them it's just it's not it's not in my favor and it's not in theirs it's very you this is what you signed up for um it's not okay but you have the option to either stay stuck in the rut or to move on. I've chose to make peace with that situation and many other things and just move on in peace. Um, but never forgetting, obviously, because these are very traumatizing and hurtful things, as I've said, that happen to you. But nonetheless, um, it's made me who I am today. And I'm super grateful for the platform. And I'm super grateful for, you know, RuPaul's Drag Race forever and always. 